All right, so what we got here is a new product from Think Tank Photo. These are the EDC tech pouches. They come in three sizes, five, 10, and 20. All three are designed pretty much the same way, and the main difference is the size. Some people may want to carry more stuff and some want to carry less, it's your choice. I actually bought all three because I can never have too many pouches and sometimes you need to switch things up. Now they all use this open book design, so your stuff opens and it can lie flat. This provides easier access to the items within. They all feature a grab handle that can also serve as a hanging point. Now it's hard for a lay person to master all the different kinds of materials that bags and pouches can use, but these are made from something called double diamond ripstop nylon. They use YKK zippers and they use a DWR water repellent coating to protect it from the elements. Now the EDC Tech Pouch 5 is a half a liter. It measures 5.2 by 1.5 by 3.5 inches tall. These are in inches, and this thing weighs two ounces. Let's open it up and take a closer look. I found, uh, I found this pouch to be a pretty good size to hold my wireless Go 2 microphone setup. The microphones can clip in to these pockets, and there's enough extra for my microphones and my cables my charging cables and my windscreens and all that. And it makes a nice handy little pouch for the mic kit. The EDC Tech Pouch 10 is one liter of storage. I haven't really used this one that much yet, but since I'm traveling right now, I've got my external portable monitor and I've stuffed all my affiliated cables for that in here and it's doing that job nicely. You can see I'm using the, uh, the, the, the rails, the web rails, all three of them to hold, to hold three cables. I've also got, let's just take those out so you can see what all is in there. Big old fat HDMI cable and a power brick that fits into that big pocket. So I that's all on this side. I wasn't using, I haven't used this side much yet. But you can get a nice look at this pouch, totally empty. It's got a big pocket here, two small pockets here, and a zippered pocket on this side with these with a with a rail here and two smaller rails here. The EDC Tech Pouch 20 is 2.5 liters of storage. It measures 9 inches by 2.5 inches by 6.25 inches. This one does have some differences from the other two, including these two hook points here so that you can connect a strap and you could wear it as a sling pouch. Also, another difference on this one is it's got a microfiber lined pocket on this side so that when you put your devices that have a screen or that need a little extra protection. Uh, it feels nice and smooth right in there. And this one features clear pockets. The, these two do not have any clear pockets. So this one has a total of six pockets. One, two, three, four, five, six pockets. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six of these uh, web rails is what they call them. Now, as you can see, I've got some stuff in here. I haven't really used this one all that much yet either. Still trying to find out how I'm gonna use these things, but I did stick some various things in here so you can kind of see how things fit. A MacBook Pro charger fits in here just fine. And some cables on this side. Uh, my field notes, this, this is uh, from Huckberry. Uh, go check it out if you're interested in field notes and a limited edition print.
print of, of this particular field notes. So it fits in there perfectly. And also in the back here, I wanted to make sure that my trusty moleskin notebook would also fit. And it fits in there fine. This is where you might put a phone or a small iPad. Uh, maybe I'll check and see if a small iPad will fit and I'll put it on the screen right here so you can know. But yeah, that all fits in there. One of the things I wanted to point out is this is a, uh, this is a battery for my camera and it's a Fuji battery and I've got it in here sideways because it holds, it holds it tighter that way. If I put it in here like this, it can fall, you know, it falls out too easily. This is not a tight enough loop to hold batteries. So if I put it in here long ways like that, it's a much tighter fit and I think that will stay. That's, I mean, it can still work loose, but it's a lot better. And just so I can show you guys, I wanted to put the battery, camera battery in one of these pockets on the EDC Tech Pouch 5. It's real loose. And let's put it in the web rail over here, which is a much smaller web rail, so that is much tighter. That is not going anywhere. So on the smaller pouches, the distance on the web rail is less. So your so your elastic is tighter. Just so it, uh, just so you know that it's an FYI. Okay, so what are some additional thoughts about these pouches? In my opinion, this open book design uh, it can lead to things falling out. So imagine you're standing out in a field and you took this out of your backpack and you're trying to fish something out. And you can just see my MacBook Pro charger just falls right out. So I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to one hand this thing and I'm like up oh, and it just falls out. So your stuff can like that cord can fall out too. Look at that. Just a little, you know, a little shaking and that thing is falling out. So this open book design, you have to be careful with it. You almost have to lay it flat in order for it to be um, safe for your stuff. So I'm not, a, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Um, I think it might be nicer if it kind of partially opened. Maybe you can kind of not zip it up all the way, but um, it makes it a little harder to access. And so I feel like it's just a little bit of a, let's call it a, a side effect from this design is if, if it opens all the way, your stuff can fall all the way out. My proposed solution for that would be if they had put some magnets in here, in here, in here, and here, so that uh, that can stay connected and your stuff is not going to fall out. So think tank, if you're listening, uh, some magnets, I think would be a wise choice wherever these pockets are. So that when you have it open, your stuff doesn't spill to the ground like it did here in this example. Now they each have a, a grab handle here at the top and it can be used for hanging. But as we, as we learned, your stuff can fall out. If you end up hanging it from here, you end up hanging it from this point you have several of your pockets that stuff can just literally fall to the ground now the, the marketing materials say these are a totally opaque design which is obviously true you can't see inside of them and that is both a pro uh sometimes but it's also a con sometimes if you have a bunch of these bags in your pack and you're trying to figure out which one is which it might be nice to have a little window to see inside and know what's in there and for example there's, um, I, ha I use Think Tank pouches all the time. This is an old, an old Think Tank pouch called the Cable Management 10 version 2.0. And uh, you, you got a, a clear, clear view in there. And I keep my portable monitor stuff in here. But what's great is I got a label. I mean, that's a junky looking label, but I got the label in here. And so when I got all this pile of stuff, all these cables jammed in here, I know exactly which pouch contains what I need. I have a bunch of these pouches. Being able to see into your pouch is, is a nice to have, but I understand they chose a different, uh, different scheme for these and that's fine too. But it would be nice to be able to differentiate what's in, if you have several of these and they're the same size, so maybe some different colors, maybe some different colored zipper pulls is an option. Um, 
maybe a place to put a label. Like on these, there's a place to put a business card. You could also put a label right there. And so if you're, if you're, you know, you could have a little label, a little business card pocket right there. And you could put a label and say, this is, this is the USB-C monitor stuff. This is the microphone stuff. This is the whatever stuff. I think that's an area of improvement that I'd like to see in uh, the next version of these pouches. So I'm going to let these, I'm going to let these pouches, um, go into my rotation for my kit. I'm going to use them for a while and see how I like them. This is not a full on review because I've only had these for about a week, maybe about two weeks. I've had these and I haven't been had a chance to use them much, but I wanted to go ahead and just show off how I was using them. Some of them and what the features were and my initial thoughts so that if you're look, if you're looking at perhaps purchasing these pouches, you got a little bit of a, a video to go look at that might help you decide. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one.